Alright, we are busy with the Commerce Regional Mathematics High Level Paper 1 for August 2020. And we've already covered quite a few questions. And today we are looking at question 8. Yes, and perhaps we'll go even further. Let's see how, let's see how quick we go through, through these questions. Okay, find the value of x in this equation. Alright, so the equation is x raised to the power of negative a third is equal to 32 times x to the negative 2. Okay, so this looks a little bit complicated, but what we can do is we can make sure we first get the unknown by itself on, on one side only. Okay, so I would suggest let's keep the 32 where it is and divide both sides by x to the power of negative 2. At least that's one way to do it. If you're in any of these videos, if you have another method that you found or you used to get to the answer, please let me know in the comments below and we can discuss that. That's the nice thing about mathematics. There's always many, many ways to get to an answer. Okay, so that gets rid of it on the right hand side. Now on the left, we know if we have, if the base is the same and we're dividing, then we subtract the exponents. So on the left, we've got x and then we've got the top exponent minus the bottom exponent equals and 32 I'm just going to rewrite that in its prime factor form so 32 is the same as 2 to the power of 5 all right so now we have negative a third plus 2 that gives us what what does that give us so it's 6 over 3 minus 1 over 3 that is 5 over 3 equals 2 to the power of 5 all right so now everything is as simplified as it can be the bases are not necessarily the same or well, the bases aren't, and the exponents are not the same either. So what can we do? Well, we want x, so we can say, how do we get rid of the exponent? Or well, we can just multiply it, or raise it, rather, to its inverse exponent. And then we just do the same on the right-hand side. We raise both sides to the power of 5 over 3, because what happens then? We know if we raise something to another power, we multiply the exponents together, so 5 over 3 times 3 over 5 cancel out, and that just becomes x to the power 1 equals, and then we can multiply this. So 2 to the power, so 5 over 1 times 3 over 5, the 5s cancel out, and that gives us 2 to the power 3, which means x equals 8. So that is our answer. And then feel free to go test it, plug that in your calculator with x as 8, and that should work out. Alright, question B. Without the use of a calculator, find the value of this. Log with a base 2 of 2 times square root 2. Last of 2's. Okay, a couple of ways again we can approach this. I think I'm going to start by rewriting the root as an exponent. I'm going to say that's the same as log. Keep the base of 2. And then we've got a 2 multiplied by, and instead of square root of 2, I'm going to write 2 to the power positive half. Now, we know that if we're multiplying and the bases are the same, then we add the exponents. So what is 1 plus a half? That's 1 and a half, or 3 over 2. And then we can say, well, we know with logs, we can take the exponent and move it to the front as a coefficient. So we can take the exponent to the front and leave our log 2 base 2. Now, something else we know is that any log number to its own base like log 2 base 2 or log 5 base 5 that's just 1 so we've got 3 over 2 times 1 which is just 3 over 2 okay so our answer here is 3 over 2 or 1.5 you could also write that and let's just make sure on the calculator does that work so what will we write we'll write uh, 3 over 2 or let's just write it from the beginning this this part here we're going to just substitute that in so we've got log uh, log of 2 times square root 2 so 2 times square root of 2 divided by log of 2 1.5 perfect okay we see that works out now question c given that x books cost that much find the cost of one book okay let's just imagine we had nicer numbers let's say they said the cost of five books is 30 30 dollars how much is one book well what we'll do is we'll say 30 divided by 5 to get 6 right 
uh, 30 divided by 5 will give us $6. So we're gonna, just going to use exactly the same, the same thought here. We're going to say the total cost, which is x cubed uh, minus 7x minus 6 divided by... Whoa, let me just rewrite that a little bit. Okay, we're going to say this divided by that. Okay, x cubed, and then there's no x squared, so I'm just going to put 0x squared minus 7x minus 6. And I'm going to do long division. Maybe after this we'll do short division or the synthetic division as well, just to see just to see how that, that can work out for us. But let's do the long division just to cover that. So x cubed divided by x will give us x squared. And now we take this answer here, the x squared, and we multiply it by the whole thing in front. So x squared times x is x cubed. x squared times 2 is 2x squared. And then we want to subtract this. So we see it works exactly the same as long division with normal numbers. It's just some x's involved here. x cubed minus x cubed is nothing. 0 x squared minus 2 x squared is negative 2 x squared. And then we can bring down the next part, uh, 7 x. And we start the process over. So negative 2 x squared divided by x, that's negative 2 x. And again, we multiply the negative 2 x by this whole thing. So negative 2 x times x is negative 2 x squared. Negative 2 x times 2 is negative 4 x. And again, we subtract this. So that negative 2x squared minus negative 2x squared is nothing. Negative 7x minus minus 4x. So negative 7x plus 4x is negative 3x. And we bring down the next value, which is minus 6. Okay, and then we do the process again. So negative 3x divided by x is negative 3. And then we multiply negative 3 by the whole thing in front. So negative 3 times x is negative 3x. Negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. And again, we subtract this part. Negative 3x minus negative 3x is nothing. Negative 6 minus negative 6 is nothing. So that is our quotient, our answer. x squared minus 2x minus 3. Fantastic. Let's just check if we can't continue this video a little bit. Uh, how many questions do we have here? No, I think that'll be one for want to do by itself. Okay, I'll see you soon for question nine. Good.